Hello everyone and welcome to Reviews with Watch Legs. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sunto XM6 computerized watch. This watch was released around 2002. The model number is X6M. The diameter of the watch is 47 millimeters, including the button it is 49 millimeters, and the height of the watch lug to lug is 52 millimeters. The case material is polished steel and the dial window material is scratch resistant mineral crystal glass. The display type is digital with a calendar that shows the day and the date. This band is a rubber band but it also comes in leather and in stainless steel. And this is a water resistant watch up to 100 meters. This watch is broken down into five different modes. The default is time mode. And to navigate, you're going to press the bottom right button or the top right button. So we have time, is, which is the default, compass, weather. hiking, and chronometer. In time mode, you can change the lower part of your screen from the day of the week to seconds to dual time. To set your time, you're going to press enter in time mode now you have a choice for your alarm, the time, and the date. So you use your plus and minus buttons to select which feature you want to set. So I'm going to go ahead and set the alarm, press enter. I'm going to select that time, press enter. Now you can choose the plus and minus to turn on or off the alarm. I'm going to turn it off. Press enter. Now you can select your hours, plus, minus. Enter minutes plus minus the month, the day, and now your alarm is set. You're going to do the same for the time. You're going to press enter and you set your primary time or you can set your dual time. So we're to return back to your previous screen, you're going to press the lower left. So to set the date, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to press plus or minus. I'm going to press the lower left, I'm going to return to the previous screen, and now I'm going to return back to time mode. Your second mode is compass. So to access your features, you're going to press enter. You can change between barometer or altimeter. You can record your altitude. You can view and record your compass bearings as well as calibrate your compass. So to return back to compass mode, I'm going to press the lower left. Weather is the third mode. It displays the current temperature, atmospheric pressure, and the current time. So to access the settings, you're going to press enter. And you can change between barometer and altimeter. You can view your sea level pressure as well as absolute pressure, and you can set an alarm. The alarm will warn you as to upcoming changes in weather conditions. So re to return to the main menu, you're going to press the lower left button. Hiking is your fourth mode. Your altitude is displayed in feet. Your current time is displayed on the bottom. So to access settings, you're going to press enter. You have access to logbook with waypoint recordings. You can change between altimeter or barometer. You can view different altitude recordings. Or you can set an alarm. So to return back to the main menu, you're going to press your lower left. The last mode is chronometer. To start your timer, you're going to press 
the top button. To stop, you're going to press the lower left button. And to reset, you're going to hold the lower left button. To access your features, you press enter. You're going to scroll down to select whichever modes you want to view. And to return back to chronometer mode, you're going to press the lower left button. Sunto is a company best known for its magnetic and electronic compass, heart rate monitors, and dive computers. Parent company is Amera Sports, which is a manufacturer of sporting equipment, so you can imagine the quality of sports watch that you're getting. This watch can also function at 29,500 feet, which is practically anywhere in the world you can use this watch. It's a very clean and handsome watch. The push buttons are firm, um, very solid, smooth. Um, the quality of this watch feels expensive, but I would recommend, as you can see, as I showed you earlier, it's not hard to use the functions of the watch, but because it is a sophisticated watch, it's gonna take time. So basically I would say, you just need time to learn how to use all the features of the watch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my video, leave comments, and check out more watch reviews on watchlex.com.